Hoppity hoppity. <clears throat> so, we're going to be trying a wide range of different activities today, but most importantly, we have a 100% Be Quiet PC build, and this needs to go away. And this needs to go away. So I'm using a different mic setup. I'm using, I'm taking the of my Rode microphone. So I've got a nice fancy microphone that I'll be using instead. Hello everybody. Welcome. Today we are building a Be Quiet PC. Um, we've got all Be Quiet parts. Lovely cooler. Lovely PSU. And of course we've got a case back here. You guys can see it over here. Um, let me get my other cameras going. Second set of cameras going. Um, but what's up, uh, Urban Styler? How's it going? Uh, 8K sub, or 8 subs, pull up 5K. I should probably also get the subscriber uh, thing set up as well. So uh, let me do it real quick and just wait and get that set up on the screen as well so you can have a subscriber account. Um, so let me do that. Uh, subscriber counter. Okay, just so real quick, since I'm over um, on my computer, I'll just turn this uh, microphone on so you guys can hear me. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to set up the uh, uh, subscriber counter real quick so we can have that real time while I uh, go through and you guys can see everything. I got also got to set the monitors real quick. Um, live counts. Let's see if I can do anything. And then J. Circle. And we will get started on the stream in a second. Um, so we are currently, let's take this. Oh, nope, not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And uh, make it a new browser source. And we are going to get started. So browser source. Browser. OK. And that there. OK. Uh, background color. Uh, let's do 256. Time to do a little bit of adjustments on this sucker. So this is our lovely subscriber counter. Now you guys can watch me go through and actually fix this up. So first off, let's apply a filter. Let's do a crop. Let's get exactly what we want. Uh, left, let's do 100. Let's get 200 pixels. Top, let's do 200. Now let's do 150. 60 actually. So let's do 170. Um, let's do right, let's do 200 pixels and the bottom. Let's get a solid, I don't know, 300. No, let's do 280. There we go. And so that is subscriber counter. And then the next thing we do is we put another filter on there so that it's um, color key and custom color, select color, big screen color. Okay, and then brightness, max that out, camera, contrast, <coughs> and then uh, let's add color correction, and paint, camera, max it out, contrast, nothing, brightness, okay. There we go, there's the subscriber counter. And for the sake of this video, I'll put it right there. Okay, so that being said, everything looks good. Twice. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Uh, so here we go. I'm hearing you speak on stream. Oh, no, you had this open twice. Okay. Well, let's get started. So let me switch back to uh, make sure that everything is working. But I got to figure out how I'm going to put the stream up somewhere. Um, actually, I'm going to think of the best way to do this, actually. 
Um, I'll put a monitor up on. I don't know how much slack I have on this. Not much slack. Okay. Great. So I'm going to try to figure out if I can get a monitor to display stream chat while I talk. Let's see if I can find one monitor that will allow me to turn it around over here. I'm pretty sure this one is. Yeah, this one's pretty tight. I don't know how well this will work. I don't think that's working either. Jeez. You would think it'd be nice if I had another monitor, right? Not just the three that I use. Okay. So. So those, that's what we're doing there. And I'll switch back to the other microphone real quick before I forget. Put this on the side there. And switch to the other microphone. There we go. So, um, let's go figure out. So I want to do get stream chat going. And I also want to set up the other set of cameras. So, this will be time lapse number one. This will be the time lapse. By the way, I'm getting a new camera. I finally saved up enough money after working all summer for a nice new fancy new camera. So that will be something else to keep in mind. Just don't know how I'm gonna get a stream chat going. I should probably have like hmm. not only if I could just turn around one monitor, right? Just set one back here perhaps. Okay, it's just a the rat's nest currently back here. No, it's not like but it's currently a rat's nest back here, so it's why it's such a problem to move anything. I don't know you have that kind of uh, stuck with what I can I cannot do. And that would be number one. Okay. In theory, this should be movable. Monitor. Okay, so it is. Okay. So on the bright side, I don't know how visible this is in the screen. I'll have to fix that in a second. But, I feel it's quite visible. But, on a side note, I can actually read chat directly. So, that will be the bright side. Let's see. And since it has the, all the cameras on there, yeah, it's like covering everything. Um, let's do. Turn the section off on the corner real quick, and I will be 100% ready to get started. So, put this, actually I might need this. We'll put that up there. You know what, I, I may be the verge, and I like my drill. You know, I spent like eight bucks on this. This thing was eight bucks at a yard sale. And I was super happy, because uh, I was so proud of finally finding something that was nice enough that I could use it for bills and stuff. Pop out chat. Let's do that. Yeet. There we go. The chat is set up. And more importantly, I should probably have that on one side actually. Okay, if I can, the, the only side note is I can't really find the. Um, a little difficult to make sure that this is working properly. A little bit more difficult than expected. And what if I just do? I don't think I just do it. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. And now, we're doing this last thing so that um, let's pop this out. Put this over here as well. Okay, so now let's move the last to the monitor where it should be, cameras where it should be. 
and get this show on the road. Because I'd say it's been a bit. Okay. So, here we are. The show on the road. And get this started. Okay. Let's do time lapse. Okay. Make sure this is all good on stream. We are all good. Where's my pretty face? Um, why is there an electric, uh, electric screwdriver? Yeah, you need a nice drill. Probably because for me, I was a little. What's the proper word? I guess. Let's do this proper. Like that. And then that. Okay. So, oh. welcome to, welcome to guys, a solid video of me getting 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now if you've been unfamiliar, my computer has currently been out of commission, it's actually sitting right here, the case of it, uh, and we are going to use a nice Be Quiet case that I've had, change things up for a little bit, and get a different case, and then do a nice computer building process. Uh, while there is a lovely drill right here well that's because I'm lazy and screwing some stuff in and especially for the uh, be quiet case we really want to see how nice the full system sounds so that's kind of the goal that we're going to be doing today so for the most part um, honestly I am quite excited to get started on this uh, but let me just make sure that everything's good I will need it in my other camera which I believe is going to be on top of the computer yep so I got here. I prefer to use a hand screwdriver, nothing worth than uh, cross tightening or tightening up with a power screwdriver. Yeah, I've honestly, there definitely there'll be some things that I won't do with this, like the motherboard and stuff. Some things I don't uh, really trust this with. It's definitely a good, I mean, for eight bucks, this was invaluable. I got bits for it. Um, actually, one of my projects that I'm working on, I'm not worried about it at all. But for definitely for the day's video, um, it's a uh, it's his fair share, pretty good. Um, let me do one last thing real quick, just looking over stuff. Uh, let me move this up real quick. Oop. Let's do this. And then that. Okay. Sorry about that. Just wanted to, and that's it, not do it, accomplish what I wanted. There we go. That accomplished what I wanted. Okay. So. For today's video, we're going to be building a nice computer. Um, and that still didn't do anything. What the heck? No, that's not what I wanted either. Yeah. No. This is trying to set up the stream to how I would like it. There we go. Okay. So. For foo! Okay. I need a lot of stuff displayed, and this is not being particularly the best. Okay. Is that everything that I'd like? It's got viewer count, it's got likes, it's got chat, it's got live feed of me. I think we're good. Let's get started, shall we? So, um, I've actually got to grab stuff out of one of these systems. Yeah, the CyberPower PC, because I uh, actually was sending you off. Um, so, long story short, my motherboard died. I think I made a video about this. And so therefore I had to go through and find a new motherboard pretty quickly. One of my buddies lent me his um, and it was happened to be that he was getting rid of his cyber power PC. Uh, pretty much majority of it. So he just gave me the whole thing. And so I threw it all in there one day in between work and was kind of uh, yeah, that's what I've been currently using. Uh, well, actually not this. I've had a backup. Um, but for the most part, it's been a pretty solid, um, pretty good with it. So let me get this right. This is my gimbal with my little GoPro on it. Uh, on good news though, I do have a much nicer camera that I'll be using for videos from now on. Um, that would be my camera tools. So what do we have here? We have Dark Rock Slim. This is a pretty solid um, cooler. 
Honestly, I think it goes up to 180 watts. All this stuff, the be quiet stuff, I got this, this, and the case for free, so I might as well use it. I've had it sitting around for a while, so I mean, I might as well actually use it in something. Um, but for me though, this has actually been a really nice cooler, and I figured if it's going to be be quiet, we can at least put everything together. I mean, it's a $200 case, and all this stuff is quite expensive. Um, does that PC come with a wild man eating calm, uh, food? Eating calm food, sir? I don't know. It depends. Uh, I might need to go post this on Reddit too because we're, we're kind of getting started here. So we've got a Pure Power 11 uh, power supply, 600 watt. Honestly, I'm not, not really a big deal. Uh, sadly, though, I had the 650 watt and the 600 watt. I do need to upgrade. I need to actually get like a thousand watt because the this is just a temporary kind of build uh, that may be going for a little bit. Um, but for me, I'm actually going to be getting a huge system overhaul uh, coming up soon. So that will be something to consider. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to probably need a bigger power supply because I've got a couple other, I've got like two graphics cards that I'm going to be running and stuff. So it's going to be a pretty solid build. Um, but for right now, this is just getting the uh, uh, an editing, editing machine back up and working. So that will be the uh, main concern here. Uh, I do have a liquid cooler that I probably should use. Um, but for the sake of this video, we are just go or the stream, we're just going to be doing a uh, only be quiet build. But let's get the other stuff out. So I'm going to grab all the stuff out of the... Uh, old system so if you guys don't mind uh we'll slide this up here real quick and we're actually gonna get started with taking everything out of the system there we go so move everything over um and this is literally was just for me to test um i'm gonna be grabbing the motherboard out of here though so as you can see this is the sad thing about uh how much did you manage to find so much good stuff for free not all of this is for free, friend. I, I, I honestly would not um, say most of this stuff is for free. Uh, so, basically one of my buddies uh, was really kind and uh, gave me this whole thing, uh, like the case, the motherboard, the CPU, and some RAM with it. And he was really nice because I had, I'm having computer issues, and it was really nice to be able to go through and adjust this a little bit to you guys can as I work. But he was really nice about it. He was like, hey man, you know, I, I see you have some issues. Here, take this. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much the point. Now, I don't encourage dealing, definitely not. But for me, it was just um, having something uh, to test with real quick is nice. Because I'm going to use this motherboard. Uh, we're not using the same cooler, though, obviously. This is a B motherboard. I, so my, I originally had an X. 370 Tai Chi that I was going to upgrade uh, when Zen uh, 2 came around, uh, but as you can see, clearly my motherboard had some issues, and here I am. So my 1080 Ti, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, I've got a 1080 sitting in my backup system right now. Um, both of those will end up in the final system because I got my hands on a 1080. I got my hands. I've had this for a while, and I'm not. It was really cheap 1080, so I might just plug, throw it in there. And use it as compute performance for premiere editing uh we'll have to see when that rolls around uh so what do i want to do i want to grab this motherboard the heat uh, heat shield and i also want to take off this obnoxious cooler so therefore let's get going so i've got everything out of here pretty much and time to get going so i've got a western digital uh 500 gig black uh drive but i just got a little 60 on the server well that's cool man so also, let me post this on Reddit because I this is something that I like doing ceremonial for the streams. Uh, is I post it on the PC Master Race subreddit because that's where I've actually gotten a good bit of subscribers from. So, um, a only PC build. Let's see if I can spot correctly. PC Master Race, and we'll do this pretty quickly. But I, I didn't want to post it there because I kind of like posting it. That's my little thing. Let's see if I can type this correctly. www.youtube.com slash jays tech vault slash off. And there we go. We should be nice and posted. In my profile. And if it posts, perhaps it will. Did it not post? No, we'll give it a couple seconds. But, uh, can't run Minecraft. I don't know, dude. We'll have to see. Uh, okay. 
thought it posted. Am I, is my internet not cooperating? Perhaps. Um, but for me, this is just more of a system to say, hey, we've gone through, we've done this. Uh, if I get 200 XP more, I'm higher level than you are. Honestly, it's been nice because I've been able to work and do stuff. I don't know I got tape or something. Um, but it's been nice being able to go through and work on something, uh, be able to work on my own, and uh, have people that run that server so well. And, um, okay. I don't know what, what's up. It just disappeared. The, the internet up here is complete garbage. Okay. You know what? We're just going to have a nice conversation sitting down. Oh, and, and then, that, of course, that's going to go off. So that's the garage door. But, so, we'll throw this in a nice be quiet case. Uh, we will go through and get this all running in a be quiet system. And honestly, I'm curious to see how well it sounds. I'll put the microphone up to it. We'll see how it goes. And... Oh, I should have done new. That's what I should have done. It's probably close. No, it's not, huh? Link. Do you see what else is? And maybe one, two, three. See if it can work. Come on. I guess we're all good. Come on. Okay. The ultimate solve there. The next setting. We'll probably do the real thing yet. Okay. Guess not working. Oh well. So. With that out of the way. And my collection of glasses over here. Let's get started. So. For me, we're going to get this motherboard out. Because as much as I dislike it. It's going in the currently going to go on the new PC. Um, well, I guess new in the sense of a new build. Um, this is old hardware actually. And I have a 2700X that I could throw in here, but for me, it's more important to just get a system going, to be honest with y'all. Um, okay, so therefore we've got that. Do I need anything else out of here? No. This is now a shell of a case that I could do a wonderful PC build with because it's got a nice side panel. There we go. There we go. So now my collection of PC cases over here is wonderful. Let's get everything out of here. Oh, I do need that IO shield. Crap. I want to be of course what I need to grab too. We need that IO shield because we're doing a full build by the way. IO shield. I want that. I do plan on doing a lot of budget builds soon. So um, this was actually supposed to be done this morning by the way. Let me adjust this microphone. So it's higher up. I'm talking. Higher up. Okay. So, anyway. So, we've done that. Anyway, I'm asleep. Uh, yeah, we're going for the 5K mark. So, if you haven't subscribed already, perhaps consider it. I mean, if it's something if you're interested, go for it. Um, I think this motherboard only has, like, I don't even know how many VMs. How much VMs do we have here? Yeah, we don't have much. Kind of disappointing. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 by 4 phase VRM. Nothing fancy. And this cooler, I don't know if you guys can see, is absolute garbage. So, let me grab some And we're going to just clean this off, 
I, might, I should probably blow this out too, to be honest. It definitely does need to be cleaned out. Here we are. So that would be my lovely CPU. Uh, time to go through and get this Be Quiet Dark Slim out. And we should probably also get to pick the video of this for the time lapse. Uh, anyway, I'm asleep for like a year now. Well, I wish you the best of luck on that because sleeping for a year does not sound, um, I don't know, too fun. Let's adjust this real quick. I'm gonna have to get all new equipment too when I um, when I get my new camera. Because um, for me, I'm actually gonna go through and get a brand new uh, camera. I'm gonna be getting all new equipment. I'm actually gonna get like a, I think it's called the um, Black Magic uh, Cinema something. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna end up getting. Uh, but honestly, it's, there's a box of extras. Um, but for me, that's probably what I'm going to end up getting. And here we go, we've got the cooler mounted, we've got the cooler itself, which both of these are absolutely awesome. Um, but for using solely Be Quiet parts, this will be definitely an interesting uh, little excursion. It's good to show this so you guys can see this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so welcome everybody. If you haven't considered subscribing, uh, maybe it's something you might want to do. I would appreciate it. We're trying to get 5k on this uh, lovely excursion of a stream and we're also building me a new computer because well my current one is fat oof uh but yeah so just grab everything we got some miscellaneous random screws not the yeah because i think it's because i've used this before um we've got multiple clips i think so you can attach a uh, cooler yourself and that's exactly where i'd like it so I believe, if I remember correctly, you take this somewhere in the cooler. This is actually more like this, where you attach them onto the CPU cooler themselves. Um, and I wish I was rich. Dude, I ain't no rich. What are you talking about, man? This, this right here, F-R-E-E. -E. I got this in the mail. Be quiet, send me this. You know what I did when I read that email? I was like, uh, excuse me, is this a scam? I was like, no way. Not only did Be Quiet send me that, and that was, I don't know, a while ago, um, they sent me a case and the power supply. And I'm going to be, by no means, am I that important? I, I don't even know what they were thinking. But if I got it, I'm going to use it. I'm not, like, I'm very thankful for being able to grab stuff like that. And, I mean, super thankful. So here's what we need to grab. So here's what we need to do. If I remember correctly, uh, this goes on the back. This is, no, we need an A and B one. Okay. And this goes... Okay, we need to get the A and B one out, because I think I did the Intel one last time. Um, but for me, I have done so much stuff, uh, get, gotten so much stuff from, like, good deals, like, I don't know, um, I've gotten, like, yard sales, etc., that I, I couldn't honestly say that again, that I would... Um, Okay, where do these go? I need to probably actually read the instructions because uh, last time I did this was with a um, Intel system. Instructions, the first time I think I've ever read some instructions, by the way. Okay, because I don't want to actually mess this up because this is my own computer now. Okay, so for Intel, for AMD, you want to remove with stock and add, that's what I kind of figured. Okay, drill time, guys. Just because I'm a little lazy. Sweet. And we're just going to make... Okay, kind of unpause that because that's not... Really, you have a spaz attack. This is what... That's what I wish I had a little better tripod. Just saying. That's also what I should probably end up getting. Um, but, no. A lot of the stuff I've gotten... Uh, there's still a lot, a lot of different ways. Yard sales. Um, I guess just looking out. Shopping. Um, good deals, doing a lot of computer builds, things like that. Okay, so let's go through and if I remember correctly, instructions say this goes on first, so does this, so does this, 
It's honestly a quite nice looking motherboard. Um, there we go. I think these are spacers too. Okay, this goes. And actually, surprisingly, this looks quite good. Um, then this goes. This goes outwards. Yep. So. Probably put these spaces here. So this is all really nice. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is quite impressive stuff. It's decent hardware. It's why I like. I mean, I've never actually end up buying be quiet stuff. And you know, the day that they sent me something, I was like, ooh, maybe I'll give it a try. But yeah. Um, for us though, honestly, I am hoping that we can reach. Uh, the lovely number of 5k in the stream. Not sure though. I'd ideally like to. And is this going to fit is the question. Yeah, just barely. I don't, honestly, I wish that every time that they upgraded the CPU, um, socket that you didn't actually have to get a different uh, CPU cooler. I just wish they'd use kind of the same standard because uh, for me finding back when I was looking for originally for AMD stuff um, it was a constant tr struggle trying to uh, find a good CPU that supported it. And okay, there you go. I say that's good. So next up let's put that lovely CPU cooler on, and since this is facing this way, and we would like the CPU cooler to go this way, and to put some thermal paste. And I don't remember if I have enough thermal paste or not. Uh, that might be. Let's try this. Might be enough thermal paste. Okay. Well, surprisingly, we have enough. I think I provide a little bit extra. Hi, Oscar. How's it going? Um, we're just building a computer because the last one, the last one I had, did not so fair, so fair so well. Okay, that's installed. Next up, let's hit the bar. And tighten with two screws, which I uh, would probably explain why I was not supposed to um, put the cooler on just yet. That may be a my smart idea to uh, quickly remove the rim. Yeah, I think for the next build, uh, we'll see what we end up doing. But I think the the next computer build will likely be quite soon. Actually. Um. Anyway, that should be a CPU cooler mounted quite well. If you're interested, subscribe because. We're working on uh, doing a lot of uh, PC builds and stuff um, coming up. And I might just hand tighten this because I don't know if I trust this or not. But that is a pretty solid mount of cooler. No concerns there. I should I just pop this off so I can... But yeah, so put the round back on. All 32 gigs. This is 32 gigs. I believe the next computer that I'm going to be getting... Um, the setting up might have 128. Um, we'll see. Also, um, what's up, everybody? Maybe consider subscribing. I don't know. I kind of want to hit 5K today. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a big goal of mine for a while. So, anyway, that would be the last bit of RGB or not there's nothing really RGB about this which I don't know how I feel about that but for it being super quiet it may actually be worth the trade-off and put this back there okay put that there okay there's that now we've got everything set up um put this in there okay so we'll off we have a wonderful PC ready to go uh, into a case. Now I've got the IO shield. Am I missing anything out of there except my graphics card? 
no, so this is good to go. Um, next up is to actually get out the Be Quiet case, which this guy is a honker, by the way, like quite a big, quite a big boy. Um, so let me pull up, wrap up everything in this um, and wrap this all back up to how it is, and we'll get, actually get out the case, throw that on there, and get started. So for me, sadly, I don't have a better motherboard because my main one died. Um, when I get, maybe when I get another one, um, we'll see. But do 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 do. Grab the rest. Put this on a crap or Put this all back where I found it. That way, when the next time rolls around, I'm building this with this kit cooler. It's not a bad thing. Okay. So, um, but welcome everybody. If you guys are having a wonderful day. We we're just building a quite a simple cooler, and uh, currently just putting this quite a simple PC. Um, so this is my main editing rig. I was until uh, sadly lost a motherboard. Okay, so next up, no longer need these pieces. This cooler is installed. Actually, quite a nice cooler. Um, here we go. Time to get things spicy going on. So, let's get a case. And this this sucker right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this has been sitting back here, actually, in the back of the room for like, I don't know, forever. Yeah. Dark Rock and Nancy one, but I never did need a mod to upgrade fit in for. Well, that's always good that they put that. Okay. Accessories. A random foam ball, probably from my brother. I believe I actually fixed this up how I wanted this. Um, so, this is actually done. I might just have to get this up and then set this on the back here. So, I might actually need more room. But for the most part, everything is pretty much how I'd like it. Um, get a quick opening of this box on the camera. Just because I want to do that in the time lapse real quick. But um, for honestly, for me. I'm just kind of happy that I actually have to figure out how to get this out. So first off, two things. This is a $200 case. They thought they were going to... I don't understand. Two th I mean, I'm not going to get them wrong because I'll take it. If they don't want... Like, I don't know that's the right word. I will use it if they're not going to use it, but... There is the Be Quiet case, guys. And this is actually uh, it's supposed to be super, super quiet, so we'll see. Um, I'm actually working on soundproofing this room because I have an air conditioning. That's probably what you hear in the background. But for me, this has only been a, oh, a lot of foam pieces. Okay, we don't need this anymore. And we've got all Be Quiet stuff. Dark rock. I might just, I don't know, I might have to mess out of here. This is huge. I don't even know where to put it. That goes over there for now. So this is the bottom. Cloth. And this is... Huh? Why was this in there? Oh boy. Oh no, my life is not level. It's constantly downhill, by the way. Dark Base Pro 9000. Awful hissing. Yeah, well, that's not the microphone. That's a lovely air conditioner unit. That's for the record, y'all. Some behind the scenes. It's sitting over there in the corner, right there. So, for me, yeah, it's a wonderful air conditioning unit. Uh, I have a lavalier, but it, it, it still picks it up just as much. I actually have a really nice lavalier. Okay. Let's clean this off the space real quick. And, um... I got actually, I got a really nice lavalier. It's just... It's kind of unhelpful. 
and not even possible currently. But thank you for whoever subscribed. Let's get this all the stuff out of the way. Do a solid two-client build. Okay, so this case, besides being super quiet, has a nice, wonderful tempered glass panel on the side. And it's also a full ATX size. So, let's might as well take advantage of it. For an all be quiet build, it's got sound padding, it's got a lot of goodies, so might as well take full advantage of it. It's also got room for a radiator, which I may end up putting in there as well. Here's the glass panel, gone. But here's the main thing that we're looking at. So this is some RGB uh, strips in it as well. We'll see how those go. I may also end up putting in another bit in there as well. Okay, so we've got all the, the goodies in there. Time to put the back plate. Um, well, be quiet. Yeah, so this is all really nice stuff. Like, I am not going to lie here. I am, this is really nice uh, stuff that I will be making, uh, putting this all together. I might just put the, the AIO on there, because um, I bought that with my own money. Um, but for the most part, a lot of this stuff is you know, just kind of sensitive. And honestly, this looks so weird with this big case and this little motherboard. Um, with the ironic build, be, be quiet. But the AC won't be quiet. Yeah, I know. That would be my life in a story. Ironic. And so, there's that. Um, it's just such weird, because it's such a small board, which, as I said, I don't have another AM4 board, so I can't really, because my other one broke, my main one. So, for now, it's the one that I got for free. And then we've also got the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti to go in there, and I would have a, put the 1080 in there, but I don't necessarily have... Um, okay, where are these accessories? There's screws. Um, that motherboard will look lost in that case. Yeah, I mean... I can't really help it. I mean, for me, I'm just happy that I have a motherboard now to throw in there. Because it used to be that I didn't even have a working system, so this is a much needed upgrade from what it was before. Uh, but for me, honestly, I'm just kind of happy that. Great. That disappeared faster than uh, my little bit. Um, anyway, so I, mean, I might also need to adjust the. Um, some stuff real quick. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, so this is adjusted for a uh, full-size motherboard. I need to real quick go through and get my equipment out to adjust it to a smaller size. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's an extra processor, by the way. If I need that. Um, yeah, which one of these bits is the proper one? That one. Um... Yeah, the motherboard looks lost in the case, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, but if y'all wanna consider subscribing, that'd be great, because we're trying to get 5,000 subscribers. And I think that's the, the goal here. 5,000 subscribers on today's stream. I think it's that much. Right there. And I will probably end up getting a bigger motherboard, but specs. Specs, we've got a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, the one I've had for the last, I don't know how many years. Um, for other than that, we've also got ourselves, um, we've also got ourselves uh, Ryzen uh, 1800X because uh, I'm waiting on upgrading. Uh, for uh, RAM, I got 32 gigs. Uh, put my new build. Not sure when AMD will be shipping to the real tailor. Dude, honestly, I don't know, man. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, upgrading in the future. Let's see what else. Um, but yeah, so just kind of taking the right pins and stuff. Uh, getting everything lined up here currently. 
Um, but yeah. And then I'll throw this all together. You'll probably have some nice airflow too. Not worried here. There we go. That's that. And now the motherboard should fit just fine. Make sure it's all lined up. And we should be all be good. And um, get this ma matched up with the IO shield and this all lined up and here we go. Okay, so see, voila, we have a wonderful PC build now. Um, nicely, just a solid be quiet system all together. And then we'll get the power supply in there and everything will be be quiet. Now the question is, will it all be quiet when I map up the stress test? I may end up actually wanting to put, um, I don't know, I might need to figure out how to get how many drives I need to fit in here too. The other thing I need to consider. Okay. Looks like this last 10 minutes. Nice stuff, okay. Put my camera, great. So, uh, how many Intel builds have you done? Um, let's see. Uh, probably m multiple hundred. Um, yeah, I'd say probably, I'd say it's close to a hundred. Yeah, and then, uh, actually AMD builds I don't do too often. Uh, let's see, I need to get this out and hammer it. Actually bump this over a little bit, cause this is... But AMD builds are actually builds I don't get to do too often. Um, put this over. Yeah, it's builds themselves are not the problem. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Um, put this together now. Do do do. in there. Um, oh, these aren't actually biting. Different one. Be wrong. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. If y'all want to consider subscribing, that's the, that's the deal. I appreciate it because we're trying to get. Actually, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my subscriber special. Like, there's so much stuff to do. Don't know what. Like, we could do. We could do almost anything. We could do a uh, big special. Um, I just don't know. Uh, there's so many options of what I should do. AIO or air cooling. Well, right now we're doing AI, uh, air cooling. I have an AIO, but for the purpose of the video, with it being all be quiet and um, uh, Intel CPU sockets, I actually quite yes. I've had a, uh, actually done a lot of experience with um, setting up uh, bent or trying to fix bent CPU uh, sockets. Those are actually quite painful to fix. Um, more importantly, though, I've actually had issues with AMD sockets or AMD processors having bent pins. And I assure you, that's a little bit more tedious because the processor itself usually is more than the motherboard. Therefore, you are a little bit more concerned. And especially because AMD sockets or AMD processors have a few issues if you uh, bend some of the pins or break some of the pins. And now also are a little bit more sensitive um, just because of the fact that... Um, they're a little different material than regular uh, Intel pin CPUs. Um, this is the slide in here. There we go. And I think there should be one more. Another, okay. Uh, giveaway as a celebration. I mean, there's some stuff I could give away. Um, but the, the way to think about it is giveaways for me, like tech, is usually people just come for like trying to get a new computer and they leave. And I've always seen giveaways as like, I don't know, just giving away to something and not really getting much in return. Yeah, you'll get 
make it like you have to subscribe to of course you know enter the giveaway and people will subscribe but you'll lose it just as fast and it's kind of disappointing to be honest um but it is the truth uh so sadly um okay so we've got a cpu in, or the cooler installed time to get going um let me get the GPU installed. And I'm gonna not do a side mount to GPU sadly. That used to be my favorite thing, but we're just doing a be quiet build currently. Um, so we'll put all the hardware together and put it together. And put that down. Okay. So right there. It's like such a it could be such a smaller build and we're using like the biggest case possible. Um, but I'm interested to see like what the Founders Edition uh, graphics card, what it will actually end up looking like. Because of course Founders Editions are like the most notably noisy or noisiest uh, card out of all of them. So interesting to see. Plus the Founders Edition is by far my favorite of all the graphics cards that I've owned. I have a lot too. So I'd say most notably it is my definitely my favorite. Um, Okay, so we've got that going for us. We've got a nice black, white, and I guess silver color scheme going. Um, this PC so far is actually looking quite nice besides the motherboard being extremely small, but at least I'm not compensating for anything. Um, so let's get into just going through and uh, standing this up, which by the way, quite heavy. So let's take a look at what's, what we got packing on the front. We've got on the front, if I can get this off, we've got ourselves a nice um, room for drive bays, a nice uh, uh, padded interior to catch dust, and it's all padded on the inside so that you can, um, of course, not run into noise or thermal issues. Um, honestly, I kind of like it. It's quite a uh, good, put that over there so we can scoot this back a little farther. I no longer need this processor. We can always give away a Ryzen 7, 1800, or 7,700X, but what's up, um, Ball Rude Games, how's it going? Um, but for me, let's see what I can do when I'm facing it this way. Let's see if I can adjust this first off. So you guys can a little bit more. You can see my little microphone set up up here. So here's what we're doing here. Let me see if I can put the second camera over here uh, in a little bit of a better situation. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see if I can also go around the top of the way. And get you guys an inside view into what I'm doing. So that's the top camera. Let's do, I think it was two. Yeah, that's the right one. So that's that side. So now you guys can see me working. Um, I've got to get off and put the power supply in now. So let's get a nice time lapse of putting the power supply in, our little clip of power supply in. But um, yeah, welcome. Just subscribe by the way. Well, thank you. We're going on the nice little quest to get 5K in this stream. That's the goal. Um, and honestly, I'm halfway to my life goal of 10K. So that's my ultimate goal there. Um, and honestly, I like YouTube for me has been. 100% a personal endeavor. Um, that, that didn't sound good. Um, but for me, it's been a personal endeavor because for me, it's always been I wanted 10K subscribers. And it was nothing more, like, it was nothing more than, like, a, what is it, one of the challenges or just a goal you set for yourself. Like, you know, hey, I think that would be cool. And that's, that's literally the only reason why, like, I, like, you could describe my whole YouTube career is just like, yeah, I think it'd be cool, and why not do computer builds while you're at it? Because I think that would be awesome. Um, so for a be quiet, there's the that. We've got a cool be quiet cooler currently. We've got a be quiet case, and we're now going to have a be quiet power supply. So therefore, let's get started on checking this out. And that's the end of that little clip. Turn this off real quick. I'm also getting new cameras, by the way, because I finally have 
saved up enough ad revenue to actually get some. I'm gonna say these are pretty nice cameras. Um, I've also got to get some equipment for them, and I also probably got to upgrade my CPU because they're they spit out some high quality uh, stuff coming up. Okay. Get this end done. And get these screws out. So this is how you get this power supply out. Alright, put the power supply in and I might have to look up. If I remember correctly, this was a pain. A literal pain to get this out. I'm gonna actually take off the back too. Uh, this is an AMD build. Um, this is a uh, AMD build because that's what I use for my video editing. Um, I do have some Intel stuff, but I have had a lot of, I just have, that's what I had in my old rig. My motherboard died, so we're doing a new kind of face to it, um, which is honestly just going for a nice solid black theme. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having RGB and, you know, all that stuff, but for me, I've had, you know, a fancy RGB splashy thing in the back. I kind of want to go for a nice quiet build because I'm kind of quiet up that, uh, my air conditioner over there, put some foam on it and stuff, so... This is kind of an endeavor of making this room quieter so it's higher quality for you know, everybody. And as you can see, this has kind of been my recording studio for the last two some years that I've been doing this channel. Um, but let's see what down the back here. Oh, we've got a USB C on the front. Ooh, we have a problem not. Okay. Well, we do have a nice RGB fan header. And time to figure out how to install myself a power supply. Y'all ready for this one? Are you ready, kids? Okay. And I think this is consists of a few screws on the front. Probably that's one. I gotta remember all the screws that I, when I did this the first time, because this whole cover comes off. I want to make sure I grab that. And this also, if I remember, is not easily done. So it's a pain to get out. There we go. There's a the cover, guys. Let me see if I can adjust this camera down a slight bit more so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So, in there we have a nice Western digital drive. Looks like we even have an SSD. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh? I don't remember putting an SSD in there. Okay. No. Looks like I've got some extra hardware now. Uh, I, I slapped chin. Uh, I ain't slapping no chin, man. I'm, I'm working on this. Um, I'm getting a nice build going. So I'm going to face this downwards and we'll do it that way. Put this down here. This actually has a lot of nice room, which I'm kind of happy with. Now it looks like it's gotten bent. Okay. There we go, and figure out how I'm going to put this on the front, and that will be a different challenge. I don't remember. Oh yeah, we have screws on the back! That would be important to know. Be, there's one, and here's two. How big is your PSU? It's actually not a... No, I don't have to compensate for anything. So, you know, this whole build is, I mean, the case is, you know, obviously quite compensating, but for, for everything else, it's quite fine. We've got, no, no issues here. Okay, let's find this cable, get this together. I have a lot of room for a nice power supply in here, though, so that will be my, might actually be my next upgrade. Um, because I could really go for a, a quiet PC in this room. Our, you ready, kids? <laughs> I have a slap chin. No, nah, man. I think I think we're good on the slap in the chin, though. I, I appreciate the kind offer, but I think it's a hard pass on that one, brother. Um, let's see if I can find some stuff to make a drill and a power supply. Let's go, boys. Um, I think I'm not the right one. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Um, this book, a pun. What is that? Um, sure, man. There's that. Trying to find all these screws. I may just need to grab the box for my box. Oh. 
This is my box of miscellaneous screws from past builds. So we're just going to take some out and use those instead because these are a little bit nicer. Why are you facing the PC 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 fan up? Are you blind, brother? Are you blind? Do you see upwards? It. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's so there's the fan's actually supposed to always be down. If you, in case you didn't know that, um, the fan is always supposed to be down because this is actually going up against. Um, there's I don't know if you saw the cover or not, but there's actually padding and stuff ventilation all on the bottom. The padding will be on the top, so there's nowhere for it to actually breathe. Now, in some cases, it is, it is good if it's an open... If I were to leave the... Um, I don't know. If I were to leave the uh, shroud off of it, and of course, it would be a smart idea to have it facing upwards so I could, of course, show off the uh, PSU and maybe if it was like an RGB one or something. Um, but for this, it's, there's absolutely no reason to um, go through and leave it like that um, just because it's... No, it wouldn't get any air airflow whatsoever. So that's the thing to consider. Why is this not going in? I had a double. There we go. I think that's pretty secure in there. And, um, probably make sure this is on. That's good. Okay. So, therefore, we should be all good to start doing some cable management. Some good old, everyone's favorite, and I believe this is CPU. Yup. Cable management. Hippity hoppity. And they've even done a nice job of making sure it reaches wherever it's trying to go. There we go. Wonderful. So, as you can see, nice, wonderful PC build. Um, now let's get the motherboard cable going. So we've got ourselves a Be Quiet CPU cooler, a Be Quiet PSU, a Be Quiet case. Just a little be quiet. Hopefully it's kind of quiet. That's the. I know I've got a. I can always put the um. The AIO on the uh, cooler itself. How much did the case cost? Well, that's a wonderful question because, for some reason, and and I say this very lightly because I I am I have no idea. For some reason, be quiet. Thought it was a wonderful idea to send it to me for free. I got no clue. Because me? No clue. I just am going to use it if I got it. Because I don't like letting hardware go to waste. Especially with nice. But. Still though. I don't know. What, in, what inspired them in their right minds. To go through and think it was a. Great idea to send me. That for free. I think it's like $200. Yeah, I, I definitely should upgrade to an ATX motherboard. Yeah, um, actually the story goes my uh, I have the X570 or X370 Tai Chi motherboard, um, but it, it died. So I'm using this currently because I have actually nothing better. Um, you would think with all these computers back here I'd have uh, something, but uh, sadly no, I don't. Um, actually, everything, all the Be Quiet parts I got for free. So I I. Don't ask me, really. Because if I were to tell you how I, I don't know, I do not know what in their wonderful minds. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm not complaining, but no clue what inspired them to do that. Okay. So, that being said... Time to get some more cable management going. So, I think this is a GPU. So, let's grab... So, by the way, if you're interested, consider subscribing. We're trying to get to 5K. Wonderful goal. 
Okay, go on. Okay, and we'll go up here. And just doing some cable management. Some wonderful cable management. Well, at least you can review them. I already did! These have been reviewed for a while, actually. Um, I believe, yeah, a lot of these have actually been reviewed for a while. I think everything actually has been reviewed. Um, actually, the cooler I got before it was even released. So, yeah. So, point of the story is, these these are all reviewed. I already did that. I took advantage of it. And I reviewed it. Made videos out of it. Okay. So there's that. So I think two things I'd do um, is probably number one, I'd probably upgrade the power supply. Um, and I'd also probably get white sleeve cables. I might even just, I might even end up using that cooler uh, for the new build. Uh, I might actually have to use the AIO. AIO. Um, but yeah, there's that. So that's pretty much the uh, majority of it. I need to go through and hook up all the RGB cables. Uh, I need to go hook up a lot of this actually. Um, Gotta find an RGB header. Now where are we? Am I gonna find an RGB header? Is that the RGB? I mean, it looks like it. Do I want to plug random stuff into it? Probably not. Um. Hey. Okay. Uh. Not look like. Oh. oh, here it is. Here's the lovely RGB stuff that I actually don't like where it's placed. Of course, because it's placed in the most obscure place possible. Actually, I think if I could get this up to this little area right here on the motherboard, that would be a. Well, oh, that's a screw. I found a screw, all right? Okay. Uh, this is why I don't like sp spending. Uh, a time and effort on cheap motherboards, but okay, I'm not complaining. So the RGB header, this is 12 volt, and the 12 volt header is there, therefore I plug it in like that. Okay, that actually may not work. Actually it should, because the... We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay. So now that we've got all that done, uh, let's get some drives powered. Let me know. I've got, yeah, I've got pretty much everything that I need. Um, Okay. If I had more M.2 slots, I'd probably use more M.2 drives, but that's a problem for another day. I like power these two suckers. Actually, you know what? I am good currently with just leaving it how it is. I do not need more drives. I'll, I'll get those drives out and worry about those later. Okay. So for my video editing purposes, let's get those two back panels on real quick. Because they need to be on. Um, there we go. Put these two back in. Oh, mm, this is what I remember. I remember this took absolutely forever to get out. I don't even know how they got out. Gosh, I think there's still one down there. So this is this is what I remember not particularly being fond of. We can get this off. Then. Oh, more screws. Well, that fell down there too, of course. Of course. Okay. Um, probably get one of my trays for all the screws. Oh, 
it out with this. A likely not. Uh, I got no clue. This is this is a screw that got stuck in the back here. I'm just trying to get out. It may just be best just to leave it on the scale of not my problem. We're going to upgrade it to a definitely not my problem and just move on. That's ultimately what everyone just needs to do. Move on. HD audio. Where are you at? USB 3, 4, um, HD audio, no clue, front panel, USB 3, front panel, audio front panel maybe, so this guy, you know what, anyway, we're all good, now, Attach everything back up. Just say a big crap of oh, that. Uh, yeah, how it should. Okay. And then do this one. On this side, we are putting a power supply in, guys. All this work for a power supply. No, don't fall down there. We can have a talk about this. Okay, I swear, this, this is my least favorite. I don't even know. This 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 is like so difficult just to put a single thing on the back. I should have mentioned this in the review. I should have been like, yeah, this is so bad. I don't think I did. Okay, you know what? This this is. I just give up. This is clearly have have a lot of design issues. Cause oh my goodness, getting these screws out. What the heck? Who the heck thought it was a good idea to put? I think I lost like five screws just trying to put this in there. Okay. I've had enough. Let's plug in the front panel now. Which, including that I didn't buy this motherboard firsthand, likely means I will be unable to locate. A cable. So, uh, all the fan controllers, so therefore it's time to 
find the front panel. Remember correctly, power switch is on the front. The top two. If it's industry standard, if it's not industry standard, well then, um, different conversation. There you go. We're off. LED lights. No LED lights whatsoever. Therefore, time to screw the sucker on and try and mess it tonight. There we go. So voila, let's plug the sucker in, get electrocuted, and um, yeah, what else is there? Okay guys, hold on to you horsies. Get a little, uh, done. I may even max out my current. Uh, I may also need to plug this sucker in. Okay. I'm assuming that did nothing. Yep. Yep. Unplug that. Um, power switch is correct. Let's plug in, let's plug in. Another power supply grid. Well, my next guess is to... Take the shroud back off and... Azrak. What is this motherboard? Isus. Isus. Um, Eight to fifty AM. Uh, a front panel connector. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, here's a connection using the right header. A panel. Find eight. One, two, four. Oh, of course. I 
I was exactly right. So, that's new thing. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that Hmm. Nope, might as well plug in the um, power headers. Power supply is good, what the heck? No clue. Yeah, what's up, Moofy? No way. Maybe that's a Hmm. Welcome to computer problems with uh Jay. In today's case I want this uh, power supply, this whole computer all together, turn it on. Maybe because it's not plugged in. I don't know. It wasn't working five seconds ago. It's not even like. Power, right? Yeah. Super weird. Okay. Hmm. Time to start trying things out. Cool is a solid. 
can be installed. It's a free install. Let's test if the power switch is bad. Connected or not. Let's find out if it's So that bit is connected. So therefore, I just don't know. It's like weird. Everything is plugged into it. This is plugged in. That's so weird. What the heck? Look at it to at least call in. Okay. Well, it's time to go cry in the corner because I'll finish the stream later. Cause I'm a little exhausted.